All right, Sammy, let's read Caps for Sale. You want to go in your bed? All right. This is going to be a special reading of, what's the name of the book? What's the name of the book? Caps for Sale by S for Slobokina. It's a tale of a peddler, some monkeys, and their monkey. Are you done with this? Business. Alright, can you take your hook out so I can hear you? Okay, ready? Once there was a peddler who sold caps. He carried them on top of his head. First, he had his own checked cap. Cap. Let's take this out so we can hear you. Then a bunch of gray. You're going to go down? Sit down. Timmy, then a bunch of gray caps, brown caps, and red caps on the very top. What did he say, Sammy? Caps! Caps! Fifty cents a cap, he called. One morning he couldn't sell any. So slowly he walked up and down the street calling, Caps! But nobody wanted any caps. I think I'll go for a walk in the country. He said. He walked for a long time until he came to a great big tree. This seems like a nice place for a rest, he thought. So he went to... Yeah, I can't hear you with that in. When he woke up, all the caps were... Sammy! All the caps were gone except his own checked cap. Oh, there we go. Now I heard you. He looked to the right. He looked to the left. He looked behind the tree. No caps. Then he looked up and what did he see? Monkeys! Monkeys! <laughs> ah. On every branch sat a... A monkey. And on every monkey was a gray or a brown or a blue or a red... Said, shaking a finger at them. There's a peddler. Yeah, the peddler. What did he say? You must give me back my cap. But the monkeys only shook their finger back at him and said, <laughs> "What did the monkey say?" Tell me, what did the monkey say? Can you show me what they do with their fingers? This is a very interrupt. This is not a very fluent reading, children. No. I'm oh, leave it alone. Bloop. Bloop. This is for our reading rocks marathon. Come on, get in, get on board. By this time, oh, I skipped the page. This made the peddler angry. So he shook his hands at them. Sammy, can you show me what he did? Show me what the peddler did. He shook his hands at them. And said. You give me back my cap. But the monkeys only shook their hands back at him and said, "This made the." By this time, the peddler was really very, very angry. He stamped his feet and shouted, "You monkeys, you! You must give me back my." There's a peddler. Yeah, you must give me back my cap. But the monkeys only stamped their back, feet back at him and said, What did the monkey say, Sam? At last he became so angry that he pulled off his own cap. Pull off your cap. And threw it on the ground. And began to walk away. But then each monkey pulled off its cap. Whoa. And all the gray caps. And all the brown caps, and all the blue caps, and all the red caps, and came flying down out of the tree. Oh, good one. <laughs> You're throwing the red caps? Throw it! Oh, good one. Good reenactment. So the peddler picked up his caps and put them back on his head. First his own checked cap, then the gray caps, 
brown caps, blue caps, and the red caps on the very top. And slowly, slowly, you walk back to town calling. Can you take a bow? I'm clapping. Can you bow? Say yay! yay. That concludes this tale.